Hi everybody, this is part two using dial calipers. In part two, you and your partner should make a copy of this document and record different measurements in the chart here, okay? So in this activity, you will be using dial calipers. You'll have a pair or a set of dial calipers for your group. And what I'd first recommend is placing your thumb here on this part and getting familiar with opening and closing the dial caliper. So here you'll notice this opens and spreads apart. So does the two pieces on top or so do the two pieces on top. And then you'll notice on the right that piece extends down as well. So these pieces are used for measuring um, widths or heights this piece or these pieces are used for measuring inner measurements or inner diameters and the piece that extends out the right is used for measuring depth which we will look at in a moment okay so these are dial calipers and dial calipers are a precision measurement tool so every time you use a set of dial calipers, you will have a measurement that includes three specific decimal places, okay? So it allows you to measure precisely, and each of your measurements will include three decimal places, okay? So according to the worksheet, the first build that we need to assemble looks like this, and it tells us we're going to take that measurement specified there. Okay. So I have my piece here and I'm going to use my dial calipers and measure a depth. That's technically a depth. So I'm going to extend using my thumb and I'm going to place the dial caliper at the top piece and extend down, continue to extend down until I feel that hit. Let me show you. I see that piece hit there, okay? So I've extended downward until that touches, and now I know I'm ready to take my measurement. Okay, so there are two parts to a dial caliper. There's a ruler part. We'll call this the ruler part. Looks just like a metric ruler. And the dial part. The ruler will give you the whole number and the first decimal place. The dial gives you the second and third decimal place. So here, you would think that that's saying six. But because I can't see this whole number mark, it's actually 5.9. Okay, if I were able to see the whole number mark for the 6, I would know it's 6.0 or 6.1. But because that's not visible, it's 5.9. I get the 5.9 from the ruler part. Now I look over here for my second and third decimal place. So here, there's a little bit of a glare. Let me see if I can get rid of that. There we go. The second number is the number you can see, so here it seems to be at about eight. And then the third decimal place is according to the small divisions, and they go by two. So here it seems to be um, between eight and nine. I'm sorry, eight and the whole number, point nine. So it's actually, the third decimal place is nine. So let's go through that again. 5.9, whole number, first decimal place from the ruler part, 5.9, 8, because the needle's there, it's showing the 8, 9. 5.989, 5.989 centimeters, okay? 5.989 centimeters. The second assembly is four cubes. The length, or width, I should say, of the four cubes. So I'll open these up. 
place it in. You're supposed to ignore that connector piece. Close them up. Oops. That seems to be stuck in place. There we go. So now I'm ready to get my measurement. Okay. So I get my whole number, my first decimal place from this part. Again, it seems like it would be whole number eight, but this whole number division mark is not visible, so it's 7.9. 7.982 and then it seems like it's right at 2. 7.982. 7.982 centimeters. My third assembly is like a square piece and I'm measuring the inner dimension. Inner dimension of the square piece. So I take my dial calipers, move them along, place them inside, and then open them, slide them out. All right, first. I look at the ruler part for the whole number in the first decimal place. Again, it's really close to four, but I don't see the whole number mark for four. So it's 3.938. 3.938. First, I look here for the whole number in the first decimal place. Second and third decimal places come from the dial. The number I see is the second decimal place. For the third decimal place, I go by twos, looking at the small division. So two, four, six, eight. 3.938 centimeters. 3.938 centimeters. And that's the third assembly. And for the fourth assembly, it's six cubes in a row. And you're supposed to use a ruler to get the measurement in inches and a ruler to get the measurement in centimeters. So, first, we take my ruler. In inches, it seems to be 4 and 3 quarters. Okay. Because four and a half is here. So it seems to be four and three quarter inches. Four and three quarters inches. And I flip it over for centimeters and it seems to be 11.8 centimeters. 11.8 centimeters. Okay, that's part two. I'll see you back for part three.